Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Krista. I do makeup and fashion related videos and I would love if you subscribe to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing this Kylie Jenner hairstyle. I actually wore this in my last video and I asked on my Instagram if you guys would be interested in seeing this and you said yes, so here we are today. Let's get right into the video. So first off, I just wanna start off by mentioning the products and tools that you'll need to create this hairstyle. First thing is a curling iron, of course, and I'm using the Hot Tools one inch barrel. I've had this one for about four or five years now and it works really well. It's cool because it's like this multi-color, but yeah, it works great still and I just have it like on the medium heat basically. I don't have it turned all the way off because I don't wanna fry my hair. But yeah, this is the curling iron that I'm gonna be using. And then for brushes, I'm gonna be using two different ones. I just have this wet brush. I actually got this one recently. They sell these at TJ Maxx now, so I picked mine up there. And I'm just gonna use this throughout the process just to brush my hair out and things like that, section it out, whatever. And then also I'm gonna be using a teasing comb. I have this one right here. I've had this one for a while too. This is by the brand Sporna, I believe is how you say it, but you can use any kind of teasing comb or you can use a regular brush to tease your hair. I do that sometimes too, but it might be easier if you've never done it before to use an actual teasing comb. And then I'm going to be using two different sprays in my hair. So I have the Instant Hair Refresh and this is by Batiste, so it's just a dry shampoo. I use this all the time. This one is the tropical one and it smells so good. And then for hairspray, I'm going to be using the Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Super Clean Spray. I like this one because it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy at all. And I'm going to use that at the end just to kind of set everything. You will need a clip because I just like to section my hair out as I go throughout curling it throughout the process. And then also a hair tie. I'm gonna be using this one because I feel like it matches my hair color the most. And then I'm also gonna be using this hairpin, if you guys can even see that, but it is like a goldish kind of color. So I would suggest if you have like black hair, you use a black one because that's gonna mesh in better with your hair. So the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover. I'm just gonna start doing my hair. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. In this clip, I'm taking my wet brush and brushing my hair thoroughly all over. Now I'm taking my Batiste dry shampoo and I'm gonna be sectioning my hair out in just a minute and applying this between all the sections. And the reason why I'm using this is because my hair was a little bit greasy this day. So I feel like it helps with that, but it also does help to add texture in your hair as well. After applying it to all the sections, I just like to go in with my fingers and just kind of push it into the hair a little bit so it soaks up any of that grease. Now I'm gonna be taking my clip and I'm going to section up about half of my hair and I'm going to start doing the curls. And I'm just gonna take that section of hair and brush it out real good before I start going in with the curling iron. And here's where I'm going in with the curling iron. I would say I take about a one inch section of hair and I just take the curling iron, run it all the way down and almost take it up, not exactly to the root, leaving a little bit of the root out. And I'm gonna skip through a lot of the actual curling of my hair because I just feel like that gets tedious. And then I'm also gonna be taking a nice sip of Red Bull. Feel free to do this if you need it too. And then we are on to the next section of hair. So I basically sectioned it out in about three sections. So this top part, I'm going to be clipping up again and then I'm just gonna go through and start curling the hair in the one inch pieces.
Then we are finally down to the last section of hair. Um, if you do have thinner hair, you might need might not need to section it out as much as I do. My hair is extremely thick, so the three sections works well for me. Once all the hair is curled, I'm going to go in with my fingers and just run my hands through the curls to create a little bit of a looser curl. Then I'm going to be starting the teasing process. So I'm going to take the first section of my hair here and I'm going to do what they call back combing. So all you're gonna do is take the teasing brush with that section and take the comb and run it right at the root and that just helps to create volume. Here I'm taking a second section about the same size and I'm just gonna start back combing again. Now that both those areas are teased, I'm taking that same comb and I'm just going to smooth the area out. Now I'm going in with my hair tie and I'm just going to create that half pony with it. going to tie the pony around as many times as I can to create really nice tight retention there. Here I'm going to be taking both the ends of um, the hair, basically dividing it in two and just squeezing it as tight as I can and you can see the volume it creates when you squeeze it tighter to your scalp. Now I'm taking my hairpin and to cover up the pony, I'm gonna take one little small section, maybe like a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch of the hair. And I'm just gonna be wrapping it around where the ponytail is to cover it with hair. Once you're done wrapping the piece of hair around, I was trying to show you guys this from the back, but I kind of failed. Um, you just want to secure it with the bobby pin. To smooth the hair out a little and take care of any frizzies, I'm taking that Paul Mitchell spray and just spraying that area. And then I decided to create a little bit more volume. I went in and back combed another section of hair and just combed that out after. Now I'm going in with my Paul Mitchell hairspray. I'm going to spray all over the hairdo just to lock it in place so it'll last longer. And that is the finished look, babies. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up this hair tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it was easy to follow along. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one very soon. Bye.